to Aho's grandfather told him that a person's arm span is often the same as the as their height. So arm span uh, to ha to uh, whose grandfather is telling him a fact that a person's arm span is often the same as their height. Now arm span is the distance from the fingertips of your left hand to the fingertip fingertips of your right hand when your arms are stretched out. Okay. To uh, who wondered if this was true, he collected measurements of hundred randomly selected year ten boys and girls. He drew a scatter graph of the result. He added a line of best fit, a line of best fit to the graph, and the results are all the results are shown on the graph, and some stats are listed on the table. So this is the graph. So this is a scatter graph. So what he did was, on the x-axis he took the height, and on the y-axis he took the arm span, and he calculated the statistics. So this is the stats of height, and this is the stats of arm span. So first, let's look at the scatter graph, and this is the line of best fit, L O B F, the line of best fit. A line of best fit is a line which passes through the middle of, uh, through the middle of the data in such a way that almost 50% is above the line of best fit, and 50% is below the line of best fit. So uh, you can draw this this line can be drawn by using Excel but I don't think he has used Excel so this is a line roughly uh, passing through the middle of the data so let's look at the data and see what are some interesting facts now here there's a person this is an interesting data uh, a person of height of 160 centimeter has a arm span of 160 so this is clearly an outlier so let me write that this is again uh, a person of height of this is about 172 172.80 this is also seemingly an outlier and here is a person with a height of so this is 105 and arm span of 160 105, 160. So these are uh, 105, 160. Yeah, 105, comma 160. Okay, so the first number is your height, and the second number is your arm span. So these three points are obvious outliers. Okay, so let's answer this question. What is the height of the tallest person on the graph? Okay, so you're looking at height height of the tallest person so this person is clearly the tallest person okay so the height of this person this is 200 centimeters so this is 201 or 202 so let me write 201 centimeter so the height of the tallest person is 201 centimeter okay what is the height of the person with the smallest arm span so arm span, the smallest arm span is, this is a person with the smallest arm span of 105, isn't it? So this is, uh, no, sorry, <laughs> this is arm span, you're looking this way. So the person with the smallest arm span is 60, isn't it? So if you, let's look at the, yeah, so minimum is 60, isn't it? So the smallest arm span, yeah, 201, so it's very clearly in the stats. The person with the highest, with the tallest height is 201, and this is. So the question is, what is the height of the person with the top, uh, with the smallest arm span? So that is clearly 160 centimeters. Okay. How many people have an arm span between 120 and 135 centimeters? So let's look at 120 arm span this is 120 arm span and this is 135 so let me draw a dotted line so that we don't miss out any data so this is 120 and this is roughly 135 so there are how many people so obviously these two people have an arm span between 120 and 135 so how many people uh, how many people have so there are two people with arm span between 120 and 135. Okay. Question B. 
why was the scatter graph appropriate to show the data to how who had collected? Okay, now first thing, uh, it's inappropriate because the first thing is because it is a bivariate data. You can make your own sentences. The first reason because uh, why this is an appropriate graph is because it's a bivariate data. So whenever you have a bivariate data and you want to find a relationship between the two data, the best graph is bivariate data. So the reason is it's because of bivariate data. Uh, scatter graph, scatter graph answers the answers the question answers the question if there's a relationship if there is a relationship between the variables so let's go back between the variables here yeah, the variables are height and arm span so yeah does it answer the question so yeah the line of best fit has a positive gradient so this line of best fit has a positive gradient because the line is going from left to right up it has got a positive gradient so on an average you can say that as the person's height increases if you ignore if you ignore these outliers, if you look at only these points, so let us concentrate on these points. So if you concentrate on these points, okay, so these are seemingly outliers. You can see, if you ignore these points, you can say as the height of a person increases, the arm span is also increasing, okay. But we, the question is whether the arm span is equal to the height. But on an average, you can say as this positive gradient tells me that as the height of a person increases, the arm span should proportionally increase. Okay. So this uh, bivariate for bivariate data scatter graph is the best option to find the relationship between the two variables that is height and arm span. Okay, question C. There are some points on the graph that seems to be unlikely measurement for a year 10 students. Give the height and the arm span of three students that seems unlikely. Explain why you think they're unlikely measurement for year 10 students. So the three measurements, uh, we already got this, so let, let us write that. So one is 105.60. A person with the height of 105 has a height as an arm span of 160. That's very unlikely. These two are absolutely unlikely okay, because a person, so this is 160, 60, a person of a height of 160 centimeters has an arm span of 60. That's very unlikely. And the next is 170 to 80. 172, 80. This is also very unlikely. Okay. So what makes you think it is unlikely? Okay, so yeah, let's concentrate on this too. Yeah, a person, the, let's talk about this point. This point, this person has a height of about 126 centimeters. This is say about a, a person of 126 centimeters. For a year 10 student to have a height of 126 or 104 is very unlikely or you can categorize these students as short students but both of them have a height have an arm span of more than 160 or more this is say 165 isn't it so this is an arm span of 165 okay so yeah you can say because The arm span, arm span of students having 
heights of 105 centimeters and and 126 centimeters and 126 centimeters is over or equal to 160 centimeters over or equal to 160 centimeters so what we are saying is a student who is relatively short for a year 10 student has a height of equal to 160 or over 160 whereas these two students are over or is equal to 160 or over 160 have a height less have an arm span less than 160 which is very unlikely so if you compare this with these two these are normal or tall students you can see they cannot have an arm span less than the short students so uh, that's very unlikely okay uh, to Ahu concludes from this graph that uh, that the statement made by his grandfather is correct on average, so this is a statement, on average a person's arm span is same as the height. Is to our whose conclusion valid? So you can say, you can either agree or disagree. So if you are agreeing, suppose let's say both can be right, but you have to justify why you're saying yes. Yes means, suppose if you're saying yes, your conclusion can be. So, uh, yeah, you can say this uh, this is your so uh, is this conclusion right is what we want to decide so this is a difficult uh, decision to make so you can say yes or no okay so let's say let's say whether let's say that it is right if it is right what are your points or what are your justification to say that his conclusion is right so one thing that you can say is the line of best fit is almost equal to the the equation if you extend this line this line is almost equal to the line y is equal to x okay so here you can say this line of best fit uh, tells me roughly that as arm span as your height is increasing your arm span is also increasing so here you can say on average that's what he made the claim. So you can say arm span is equal to height or height is equal to arm span on average. So his conclusion, because he has used the word on average, on average is a very crucial word here. So he's saying on average, that means what he meant, what he meant was ignoring these points, arm span is equal to height. Okay, so if you ignore this line has a positive gradient and so this line it has got an equation of y is equal to x almost okay so that is right and secondly you can also say that he has got this is a scatter graph of 100 randomly selected students so this is a good conclusion because he has got a fairly uh, good sample size a good sample of any sample which is over 30 is a good sample to make a conclusive statement. So 100 is a good sample. And based on that, uh, you can make a, a general statement that an, on an average, the arm span is equal to the height. Okay. So you can say also no. Okay. So what are the points? Suppose if you want to say no, what are justifications that you can make? Uh, if this conclusion is not right, what are the things that you can say? This line of best fit, okay, doesn't pass through the line of if arm span is equal to, if arm span is equal to height, your line should be somewhat like this. It should pass through the origin. That means this should be the line, somewhat like this. That means this should pass through the origin. Then only you can say, height is equal to arm span or arm span is equal to height whereas this line is not passing through the origin this is uh, of course the scale has started from 50 yeah so this line is not 
uh, giving you the conclusion that arm is equal to height. Secondly, you should uh, draw this line after deleting these outliers. Okay, so after he has done some cleaning work, he, he could have got a better result because he has included all these points and if he has used Excel, Excel will, calc Excel will take into consideration all the points. So to get a better result, he could have cleaned the data, these outliers, and then drawn the graph, which would have given him a better conclusion. Secondly, he could have drawn the graph for boys and girls separately and seen whether there was any change in the relationship between height and arm span. So probably he could have drawn two graphs, one for boys and girls, and then come up with a conclusion. So as he has got um, the boys and girls mixed up, his conclusion may not be valid. Okay, so these are the reasons that you could, could, you could say if you don't agree with Tuhahu's conclusion.